do not do what you hate imagine this you are in a boardroom presenting a project that is indeed for your survival if you don't get the commission of this project you will be bankrupt homeless everything would come to an end in a second the good news is the company is very eager to give you commission and they loved your design but there is just a minor change they want you to do with your design which falls against your values what will you do in this situation will you adjust your values and get a cozy lifestyle or will you go broke and take a stand for your values well this is situation of the main character of book the fountain head howard roar When I was reading this segment and put myself in his shoes I sought comfort and thought even Howard will also choose the same obviously who wants to go broke and it was just a simple change when I continued to read I got shocked by his decision he decides to not to change single bit in design and chooses to go broke and even one of the board members said that Don't you know how big a commission this is? You are a young man, you won't get another chance like this. And all right, damn it all. I'll say it. You need this. I know how badly you need it. We want your building. You need the commission. Do you have to be quite so fanatical and selfless about it? Which he replies with a smile and says, This is the most selfish thing you'll ever see a man do and he lives. And I started to wonder why he didn't act to just simply change in his design and seek comfort. After wondering for a time, I got the answer. It was not just a simple change for him. It was something that fell against his values and he would hate to do that. If he opt for momentary comfort it would kill him inside in life we often do things against our values and every time we do this to seek comfort we kill ourselves little by little and that's sad but true in one of the book i read this we are the generation of people which dies at 30s and gets buried at 80 Going against our values cages us. Freedom, my friend, demands a price to pay, and cheap people can't afford that. To be a fountain head, one needs to take a stand for the values which they believe in, no matter what happens. It's not going to be easy for sure. Question is, are you willing to pay the price for freedom? And I'll conclude this video with the author's quote. To say I love you one must first know how to say the I My friend don't let that fucking I die Do not do what you hate